Okay, so you're interested in using SAS for free, and if you're a student or a professor, I believe it's currently free, and it probably will stay that way for a good while due to probably competition from our studio as well. Now, we're interested in using SAS Studio, so I'm gonna do SAS On Demand in a Google search, and it will bring up some links here. And SAS Studio is eventually what we're gonna use, but I want you to go ahead and click on SAS On Demand for Academics and you're gonna bring up a page that looks like this and you can click on access now. I'm gonna click United States and if you've never set up an on-demand for academics account or a SAS profile, you're gonna to need to do that. And you can do it by registering or checking account at that button right there. Now, I've currently got my email address and password in here. If you don't have a SAS profile, you're gonna to have to click on don't have a SAS profile and you're gonna to have to set that up. And then you're gonna click on create profile and you will complete all of this information and then you'll agree to the terms and conditions and create the profile. If you want emails from SAS, you can check that box. Uh, that's your call on that one, but you need to check this one. And if you wanna look over the terms and conditions, you can do so. After you do that, it will send an email to your EKU email box, um, and I'm saying your EKU email box because you probably want to use your EKU email or some sort of .edu email because it may be looking at that to give it to you for free, um, or if in case it changes in the future, it may require that. So just uh, use your .eku or .edu email address. And after I got this email, um, I had to then click on activate my SAS profile. It took about a minute to send me the email from the time that I filled that out until I created my SAS profile. So, or it wasn't so much created, it was more along the lines of I had to click a button and accept the terms of, and conditions. Now, this message doesn't work now because I'm already signed in. So once you've created your profile, that is step one. Step two is then to go back here and you're going to go to this welcome.oda.sas.com or you can go all the way back out to Google and search for SAS On Demand. Access now and then click on United States, register or check account, and then here is where you're going to register for SAS On Demand. So the, that down here was your SAS profile creation if you've never had a SAS profile, which you probably didn't. Then you then need to register for SAS On Demand for academics. Now after I submitted this, it took it about 10 minutes uh, actually nine minutes to be exact to send me this other message that says welcome to SAS on demand for academics and then everybody in the world can see my user ID number there um, so it took it a little bit of time to register for that so I'm now registered for it so I'm gonna show you what happens when I do do log in I'm currently registered so um, I can then visit uh, this welcome.oda.sas.com and um, I'm going to click on sign in. So now I'm going to able to sign in and that's what I'm going to do here. And it's got my information saved from the last time I signed in and that's going to take me to this page here and now we're going to be able to run SAS Studio. So there are two sign up pieces here, one sign up for your SAS profile and then sign up piece two is sign up for SAS On Demand for Academics. There are email verifications that the SAS folks need you to do. Be patient with that second email. It took it like nine minutes. I read on one website where it said it may take up to 15 minutes. So just be aware of that. So that's all you need. Uh, that'll bring you to SAS Studio and we can get then started with the rest of the course. Uh, for the next couple weeks. Thank you.